Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video we are going to implement this scenario. So first of all, uh, we will learn also new controllers that is the month calendar and the numeric up down. Okay. So what this scenario is that is first of all the user will enter the destination city where the user want to go. This is basically a flight booking scenario. So let's say I'm going to I'm uh, I want to go to California. Let's say and then uh, from where I want to go so let's say from Paris and then the user will select the flight uh, dates that is during which dates he wants to go so here you can simply select many uh, dates you want but the limit will be uh, 100 dates, days okay that is within 100 days you have to select the uh, range uh, or you can set the flight date for your uh, when you want to go to Calif from California to Paris so I select this range okay and here I need to uh, enter my first name and then the last name Mohammed Ali and then uh, you have to uh, choose the travel document so if I uh, choose this passport okay then here you can see it changed to passport number passport issue date and passport expiry date if I click on this identification card then it changes to ID card number, ID card issue date, and ID card expiry date. So let's say I choose passport, then I will enter the uh, passport number. Let's say this is the passport number, and from here I will uh, choose the issue date that is, let's say, 27th September 2018 and Thursday. Okay. So once I select the issue date, this is obvious that the issue date must be smaller than the expiry date. So once as you can see here we select 27th okay so if i uh, choose i mean if i here now set the expiry date then here you can see that it starts from 27th and the previous dates are invisible okay you can't uh, just select the previous date because the issue date must be uh, smaller than the uh, expiry date you can see this so i'm going to choose 30th september okay and from here you can uh, give any baggage you want that is the get okay so 15 or anything it will be multiple of five so i select i fill all the form now i can simply click on this book without paying a button so if i click here so here you can see that it shows the booking summary and here we go i mean this is all the information here you can see flight has been booked for you and congratulations i mean just a display message and then the full name this is uh, this was my first i mean this is my first name which i wrote there uh, previously in the first form uh, Mohammed and this is the last name Mohammed Ali and I display it here together okay then the departure city Paris California and trip dates from 26 September to 6 October passport number expiry date and the uh, estimated weight of baggage so yeah this uh, this is all about I mean and then if I click on done then it will close the application so let's create a new project C sharp visual C sharp windows form app and let's give it a name as flight booking app and then press ok so you can see that our new project is created successfully now let's design our first form so from the toolbox we need to add a label here quickly so drag and drop label here and let's name this as uh, the text for this will be true and let's give it some designing so it should be bold and 12 now we need to add a text box so drag and drop a text box here and now let's copy paste this for the So the text of this will be from now we need to add a month calendar here so let's do that so you can simply type month and this will appear which is month calendar so drag and drop here now first of all uh, what we're gonna do is we want to display two months here okay on this on this form to the user so for that here you can see we have this selection range if you expand this okay then here uh, these are the starting date and then the uh, end date 
so you can also give uh, i mean the start date and the end date by default from here that is let's say 27th uh, september and then you know the end date will be any other that is let's say october 31 okay you can see this so now if you expand this then you can see it will display us two months which is the october and november and also uh, if you run the app then you can simply go behind to uh, other months okay and also from here so what we uh, we are not we are not going to display the uh, default months to the i mean uh, we are not bound the user to select only the day within uh, this range the user can select any date he wants okay so today date will be automatically selected which is 26th uh, september at the time when i'm recording this video so yeah that's it now the next thing is to uh, copy paste this uh, for the first name and for the last name so yeah let's do it so here this one will be our let's copy paste this again for the last name also so this one is our first name so you can simply type first name and uh, the second one will be last name so change this to last name and then we have our travel document so now we can copy paste this for that okay so copy and paste this and let's change this to travel document so here i can simply say travel document and here we will add two radio buttons for the passport and id card so first we need a group box for that just to make the design little bit beautiful so remove this text from the for, for the group box okay and now here we can add two radio buttons for our inside this group box so yeah it looks amazing now let's add radio buttons so drag and drop the first radio button which will be for the passport so we can say passport and then the uh, let's copy paste this this one will be for the id card so we can say id card which means identification so yeah that's it and now the next thing is to uh, this if the user select any one of these we have to tag the number from the user so let's copy paste this and it will be now the document number so we can simply say document number and we need a text box here so yeah that's it now for the issue date let's copy paste this level and change this to uh, document issue date and this, now here we need to add a date and time date time picker so drag and drop this and yeah that's it now copy paste both of these for the expiry date so this will be and say expiry and the last thing is the baggage so copy paste this and here we can simply change this to baggage and we need a numeric up down so you can simply type here numeric and this will appear numeric up down drag and drop this here 
and the next thing is copy paste this and here we can simply say kilogram so yeah that's it now the next thing is to add a button and our first form will be complete and then we can code for this okay so let's drag and drop a button and this button should be like that so the book without paying and if you want then here uh, you can change the text size for this which will be first you can select any uh, text and then the size of the button so yeah that's it and if you want to change the background color then you can see here this back color select from here from the system you can select any color you want and also from here okay so I will choose uh, this dark salmon so let's give a name to our these uh, all of these controllers so for the button I can simply give it a name as btn book and for the baggage I can simply call it as it will have the same name which is numeric up down okay and this is our dead time picker 1 dead time picker 2 and then for the for the passport we can simply say rdb which means radio button passport and for the id card i can simply say rdb id card and then for the document number we can give it as txt which means text box and let's give it a name as document number then we have first name so for that I can simply say txt first name and for the last name we can say txt last name two and here we can say txt two txt from and the name of our this month calendar will be month, month calendar one so what we want first is that uh, we will implement all of these but first let's work on this if a user select passport then it should change this text to passport number passport issue date and passport expiry date and the same for the id card so double click on this passport radio button and it will create a event handler for us and here we can first check if rdb passport dot checked so if this is true that it means that this button is clicked this radio button so then what we are going to do is uh, to change the text of this document number so for that let's give it some proper label to uh, name to it so we can say lbl doc number and for the issue date we can say lbl issue date and for the expiry we can simply say lbl expiry that so yeah that's it now come here and here we can just access that which is lbl doc number dot text we have to change the text for that so it will be passport number and then we have to change it for the other two so let's copy paste this just for the time saving so the other one is lbl uh, issue date and change this to passport issue date and this one to passport uh, LBL expiry date and it will be passport expiry date and since uh, we will display all these information on our second form which we will create in the next video tutorial so for that I'm going to create here a public 
static variables so I can say public static boolean since you know that uh, the data type for the uh, radio button is boolean so the first one will be passport and the second one is our ID card number or we can just give it an MS ID card so we have to give assign some value to this passport variable which we just create and it will be true and the same we will do for the ID card so double click on this radio button and here you can simply copy this from here and paste that here and change this RDB password to RDB ID card and this here we can simply write ID card number and replace this passport with that so ID card expiry date and it should here we need to uh, say I mean the uh, variable which we create which is by the name ID card okay so we have to assign value to it that will be true so yeah that's it now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and now if I click on passport then you can see passport number passport issue date passport expiry date if I click ID card ID card number ID card issue date ID card expiry date so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will get all these values from the user okay the months and the issue date and expiry date and this baggage and we will create another form where we will display all these data and that form will be our summary so yeah Take care of yourself and bye for now.